This is the 100 amp hour mini lithium iron phosphate battery from Lee Time, and it's the smallest 100 amp hour battery I've ever seen. So let's check it out. I have a little off grid studio where I make music and edit videos, and it's almost completely powered by solar. Last year, I bought and reviewed this 200 amp hour battery, which I got on discount from Ampere Time, a company that's now rebranded as Lee Time. This week they sent me their 100 amp hour mini for the purpose of making this review. It's only half the capacity of my big battery, but it's way smaller than half the size. In fact, you could fit almost four of these in the same space. So for places where space is a premium like RVs and tiny homes, this is a good way to go. You can link up to 16 of them together. It only weighs 19 pounds and it can be charged from 0 to 100% over 4,000 times or at a 60% depth of discharge over 15,000 times, according to lead time. I don't have the equipment to rip this apart and test it scientifically the way someone like Will Price would, but I wanted to see if it could power my studio and how many hours of use I could get from it on a day with no sun at all. So I fully charged it overnight using this Noco Genius charger and I'm going to be measuring how many watt hours I can pull from the AC output of my 500 watt inverter. So keep in mind that there will be some energy lost by the inverter which is only about 85% efficient. But I'll factor that in at the end when I'm doing the numbers. It's 7.13am and I've disconnected my solar panels and turned off the charger. Everything from this point is running purely from the battery. I start the day with a 15 minute jog on the treadmill which draws about 300 to 400 watts and only uses up about 80 watt hours. Then I work on a video for a few hours before having lunch. It's now 1.20 pm and I've used 529 watt hours. I do some more work throughout the afternoon and by 4.51 I've used 1139 watt hours and my low battery warning is beeping. So I decide to let it run until my inverter's low voltage cutoff kicks in and the room loses power. My usable energy was 1147 watt hours. Lee Time advertises this battery as having 1280 watt hours. So if that's true and I subtract 15% for the inverter losses, I should be getting about 1,088 watt hours and I got 1,147. So just like my 200 amp hour battery from the same company, the 100 mini provides a little bit more than the advertised capacity. If you want to get one, there's a link in the description. It's not an affiliate link and I don't get anything if you buy one, but I've added a discount code that will save you 5% if you do. If you find this useful or interesting, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. Thanks for tuning in. See you next time.